Okay, I had to do retaping. I had a little dilemma, so I had to take care of that real quick technical problem. Anyway, I am back. So um, for those of you who missed the first video because I deleted it, this is a new one. And yes, this is an um, remembrance of Black Friday that helped when you shop and buy um, or support businesses during the Black Friday holiday. Of course, it helps that business to um, just be able to grow, to grow, to meet the demand. Um, and the reason why we have Small Business Saturday, which is, is for supporting small local businesses in your community because local businesses contribute to the economy on so many levels. Um, and also local businesses create jobs, um, support communities, uh, find ways to give back. So when you give or you support small businesses like ours, His Garden Naturals and other businesses, they're able to do more and give back and do greater things like create jobs in the community and programs. And so what we do at His Garden Naturals, we definitely pride ourselves off of giving you the best quality ingredients. That means we order from companies that practice sustainability, fair trade, no animals or no people are harmed, there's no animal testing, and we actually just gone 100% vegan because the only thing that we had something non-vegan was our lip butters, which had beeswax, but we just took that out maybe a couple of months ago, the begin I say before, at the beginning of the summer, and so now instead of using beeswax in our some of our body butters and hair butters and lip butters, we use other waxes like canoba wax and cax. So those are plant-based wax that we use now. So we want everybody to be able to benefit from all of our products. Um, so support small businesses and definitely support, support black owned businesses. I'm really pushing that because we need to have that sense of community, especially the things that, you know, we're going through right now. We need to get back to supporting, um, black owned businesses and again small local businesses um that's how they thrive and stay in the community one thing that small businesses and black owned businesses do is create jobs in the community as well like i said so that's one way of contributing to the community so the dollar stay in the community longer and when you support a black owned business it helps the black dollars stay in the black community a little longer so that benefits everybody because it helps those black owned businesses like i said do a lot more for its people right so let me show you some of the things i have left because i'm getting ready to make some fresh batches of new orders that are coming in um because we ran out because we was doing vending outdoors and then selling online and anybody that's local you know that we can um reach them we do what, what i call out of the trunk sale okay <laughs> so Mango, I have the mango body and hair butter, which is really, really rich for your skin. Leave your skin supple, it's good for moisture, it's good for eczema, dry skin conditions, a lot of other um, skin conditions, but it makes your skin very soft, flexible, and there's nutrients in all of the butters because everything is plant-based, and it has essential oils in it, so you will get the benefits of using essential oils, right? So that's the mango hair and body butter, then we have our whipped body butter. And everything we make, we try to make everything that caters to your hair down to your toes. So you can use this butter on your hair, from your head to your feet, <laughs> your body, your hair, your scalp. Pay attention to everything. And it's so best to use, to get the most moisture, use these butters as soon as you um, do a bird bath or a shower or a bath. <laughs> You know, because you get the most moisture. What happens in what happens is the oil and the butter helps to lock in the water to into your skin so you can get the most moisture out of your body. So that's why it's always best. And you probably heard that before, to put oil or lotion or butters on your skin while it's still damp because you get the most moisture out of your body that way. I mean out of your skin that way. We have our coconut. Gives you that aroma of cocoa slash eggnog. But it's real good. Again, most of the products have almost the same ingredients except the difference for like the whipped pumpkin butter. We use real pumpkin butter or oil and or oil. Um, same thing, you just depending on what, you know, texture. But so you get the benefits of pumpkin. Look up pumpkin. I'm not going to go into it now, but we do have it on our website with each 
product is good for and the properties that are in it while we chose the, the ingredients that we did choose um and with mango a lot of you also know that that's very good for the skin very good for um eczema and a lot of other skin conditions as well and then we have our newest thing which has been selling like hotcakes i mean it's becoming very popular which i knew it would is our cbd salve so this one is definitely designed for pain anxiety aches soreness i'm telling you there's so many testimonials I haven't even had the time to put them all up yet, but I am going to do a live and I'm going to have my customers and clients who already use the CBD salve, hemp CBD salve, to share their testimonial. Um, unbelievable, their testimony. Unbelievable. So we have the 500 milligram as well as the 1,000. So this, was the, this is the 1,000 milligram of the CBD salve and we call it My Fix because I'm telling you, it can fix some things, right? And then we have the 500 milligram hemp CBD. Now, before we made the thousand milligram CBD oil, CBD salve, we was getting testimonials from using that one for relieving pain. People who have fibromyalgia, lupus, um, arthritis in their joints and in their knees. And they said, this stuff has been helping them. Someone even told me to help them with their migraine. I said, really? We give God the glory. That's why we call it his garden naturals because everything inside comes from God's garden, right? Right, so that's the 500 milligram of my fix CBD salve, and we have the 1000 milligrams of hemp CBD salve. Now, we also have see, now I forgot to tell you, so we have another powerful ingredient inside of that salve, which is called blue chamomile. Some of you know that chamomile is used as a commentive. If you're like me, I love to drink the tea, I drink the tea almost every other day, chamomile tea. It's relaxing, it's calming. And so because of that, the plant has those properties and even more, the same thing, like a um, something to soothe pain, right? So you know what I said, let me combine, and there's some other stuff in there that's real great. Everything in there really caters to soothing pain, relieving pain, like Arnica oil, another pain reliever. So you got your CBD oil, all the stuff I use is it's organic. You have the arnica oil and you have the blue chamomile, which brings me to my next product. Our CBD blue chamomile hair and body butter. So in my research, I found out that CBD also stimulates hair growth, helps for stimulating hair growth, and also help to strengthen your hair. So I'm like, okay, so I'm gonna put the blue chamomile, the CBD oil, <laughs> as well as the um, arnica oil and just blend it all together because it helps to strengthen the hair. So why not make a hair and body butter? So this still may give you a lot of relief from pain, but it's not a salve, but it has 500 milligrams of CBD oil as well, along with the blue chamomile and a lot of other oils, essential oils and butters as well. So I'm telling you, from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet, this stuff is the business. I'm telling you right now. So um, that's all I have to show you right now because like I said, I'm making a new batch because I started selling out <laughs> of some of the things I already sold. Um, we do have our new, we already had a refresh herbal hair and body shampoo. So we rebranded it. First it was called refresh body hair shampoo. Now it's called refresh herbal hair and body shampoo natural organic ingredients as well so it's great for detangling and moisturizing your hair and it doesn't strip your hair of your natural moisture the natural moisture in your hair is called sebum that's the natural oil your body develops right at the root of your hair and this helps you to keep your hair moist and soft and flexible as well so it stimulates hair growth that's what the tea tree oil and some other essential oils do help to stimulate their hair growth so you know when you shampoo your hair you try to do a circular motion to help stimulate because what really causes your hair to grow unless you have some health conditions or external forces <laughs> that are hindering that is hindering your hair growth is bringing the blood to your scalp so that's why massaging is good you stimulate hair growth by stimulating the blood flow to your scalp when you stimulate your scalp the blood flow reaches your papilla bulb in your hair there which your follicles are coming out of so once you want you that's why it's important what you eat I'm gonna get to that in a minute when you 
um, stimulate the blood towards the, the, your root of your hair, the papilla bulb, and then feed your follicles, what's, whatever is in your blood. That's why it's important, again, to have nutrients in your blood. So yes, healthy diet really, really matters. So we do have to be more conscious of what we eat, what we put in our bodies, because we don't realize how it affects the other appendages of the skin, like your hair and your nails. These are appendages of the skin. So start becoming more conscious of what you eat. So try to eat food that have a lot of nutrients in it, especially that's nutrient rich towards healthy hair like vitamin A and zinc and all these other things that are very good for hair and strengthening your follicles and also stimulating hair growth causing your hair to grow so um, I've been I was mindful of that when I created not only the shampoo but even as a licensed cosmetologist one of the things I love doing was massaging my clients hair understanding that it was the massages that was helping their hair to grow that's why I always call myself a natural hair care stylist not just a hairdresser because my goal was to help you have a healthier set of hair healthy scalp healthy skin so that's why i pulled away from using chemicals a long time ago and i just focus on using a lot of natural ingredients but i do um you know, serve people who already have chemicals in their hair. And I do color and everything, but I just came away from doing the chemical relaxes because I felt always felt uncomfortable with doing that. I just thought it was unhealthy to kind of strip your hair and stretch it out to the point where it's so weak it breaks. But anyway, that's a whole argument on whether your hair is healthy with the relaxer or not. But I'm just saying, because even with the relaxer, you can try to strengthen your hair so that way it won't be so easily, um, it won't be easily um, broken, right? It won't easily break. Um, so that's why it's not good to do bone straight. If you're going to do relaxer, don't do it bone straight till it has no elasticity as at all, no flexibility at all. So it's easy to pop. It's like stretching a rubber band, right? When you stretch it to its fullest, it's easier for that thing to pop, to crack open. Same thing with your hair strands. So anyway, the massaging is good for that. So stimulating hair growth, part of the one remedy is really massaging your hair in a circular motion all over your hair, your scalp, your scalp, paying attention to your scalp and bringing that blood flow. I know there's an ancient remedy that's, I think it stems from Asia, really, maybe China or Japan. Um, I believe it's China. It's when you kind of, everybody can't practice this, especially if you have high blood pressure. But it's almost like laying your head on the side of your bed or on the sofa and having your head kind of like being upside down, basically. Again, bringing the blood flow to your scalp. But see, when you hold your head upside down for a few minutes, you allow more blood flow to your scalp, which goes into your papilla bulb, which feeds the papilla bulb and feed those follicles. So that's why uh, massaging the hair is very important. So scalp manipulation is what I'm talking about overall. Manipulating the scalp. Very important. So just in case somebody didn't know that, I threw that out there so you can start being conscious of when you do your hair. So I don't like to rub the hair much when I shampoo. I like to massage the scalp because my aim is to stimulate hair growth. That's why I do something called um, uh, scientific brushing. Scientific brushing, which is a major, um, and it's well known, uh, one of the the most effective, I would say, and powerful remedies for stimulating hair growth. But again, remember, there's other factors that can hinder your hair from growing. So that's why we always refer, or I used to always refer my clients to go see a dermatologist and even their doctor, of course, to see there's something else that's hindering your hair growth, like medication and everything else. Anyway, I didn't mean to be on this long. <laughs> I want you to know that because I don't want anybody to miss out on that, okay? Anyway, thanks for tuning in. See you. Be blessed.